Hello everyone, this is Jay the Ablock Jablock here. I am playing Team Fortress 2, and you're watching a live game of me playing. Before I start, while well, the game's setting up, I just want to make a disclaimer. I am no pro at this game, nor do I claim to be. To be honest, I kind of suck. But if you're having a bad day, just watch this. You'll get to see some guns, and who doesn't love guns, and you'll get to see me get killed a couple times. Hopefully, it's funny. Hopefully we laugh at it, and don't troll me too hard in the comments. You're entitled to your opinion, just if it's vulgar, keep it to yourself. So looks like we're getting started here. Uh, we have a, um, quite an interesting team makeup, but I do love this guy just by his name, Dorsh's Cake. And, uh, so yeah, this is going to be pretty epic, I'm not even going to lie. So, we got two seconds, so let's go. I'm a scout, so I gotta, gotta weed the pack. Hopefully, I don't take too much damage, though, because I'm a scout. I am by no means a tank like the heavy is. So I kinda gotta be in and out, run around, do some damage here and there. Not do that, because right about now I have 46 health already. Shows my inexperience or lack thereof in this game. So, I'm just gonna run around here. I'm fairly certain this is control point. So, two points, two teams have got to capture a certain point in the game. I gotta kill that engineer before that sentry gun goes up. Because that would suck if that goes up, because that would be extremely convenient because I'd be fired on like this. So, looks like I've killed that sentry gun. Or not. So, I'm gonna spawn as a spy now. Hopefully, I can flank that and throw a sapper on it. I did get this nice shiny pistol. It's very nice. So, butterfly knife. Love the spinning action. So I'm gonna cloak here. Funny thing about cloak is you can see the silhouette, so anyone that's blindly firing somewhere can shoot you. Like that. So, oh, medevac. Or, what am I talking about? Med pack. So. Find us. Oh my god. See, right about now I am 0 and 2. So I'm just gonna go with a solid soldier. Hopefully that can get me a few kills. One thing I love about this game is there's no friendly fire. If there was, in case you. I'm not even gonna debate it. I'd be totally screwed and he's invulnerable. I'm gonna get out of there. Alright, so I got one that time. I don't wanna say that's close to a record, but I'll admit that it is. I got this game when it's free to play. Uh, check it out on Steam if you want. It's really fun uh, for free. It's a heck of a lot of fun. I've played it for, I think, five total hours, which is probably 10 games maybe. And I still haven't experienced all the game classes it has to offer, all the different strategies that people can use. I'm mostly stuck to the spy um, sniper build. I don't want to call it a build, but those are my favorite classes as of now. If you saw the loading screen, I've spent about, I want to say like, 50 in-game minutes as a spy, and nothing else is even a close second. So, if that tells you anything, if you're watching the cast, you'll probably see me be a spy quite a bit. I'm getting out of there. The sentry gun looks uh, quite intimidating, to be honest. So I always seem to be on the bad team. I'm not going to admit it's me at all, because it's definitely not. I'm, as I've said before, I'm the best player at this ever. With a, notice my sarcasm. So. Right about now, it's kind of a standoff. Um, when you have a lot of engineers and heavies, it's really hard to break that. They unfortunately charged first and got good positioning. So that, you see the sentry guns right there, I could barely see it. Um, so I'm just gonna look at some of the other games like, actually, screw this, I'm gonna be a sniper. I'm gonna stand right where that was where that last sniper was. I got like my snipers just over here and shooting people in that doorway. And they won't even notice half the time. And then it's also cool because you can jump up on buildings and get shot at apparently. 
So I'm just gonna run around here. Hopefully pop up at a better angle. I've noticed a lot of times in this game, it's very balanced, it's very open. It all depends, like, if you're a sniper, you would hate this hallway, you never want to engage. Um, I'm just thinking about, like, StarCraft 2 is one of my favorite games I play. I just think of positioning a lot. And this game doesn't really offer a lot of points where you can take advantage. Although the few points you can, it can be extremely useful to you. If you would do so. So it looks like our team's moving forward. I'm going to run up here and see if I can't get some high ground here. It's like kind of a weird place for a control point, but I guess you wouldn't want it in the open. Because then it'd just be whoever can put up the biggest status defenses, which the engineers obviously win in that category. That's what they're made for. That's what they're even... Heck, that's what the game tells you they're for. So, getting fire, I don't really like that. I love to shoot people, and I don't like to get shot. It's weird, I know. So, couldn't get across that bridge. Sentry gun. I love sentry guns to death when I'm using them, but I hate when you're going against them because they're just so intelligent. They're smarter than the average player. Like, I would be willing to bet no one even saw me there, but the sentry gun is obviously there. So, I can't really argue with that. So, I'm going to be a scout here. I actually just got this. I've never used it. It's called a Bonk Atomic Punch. And holy crap, this is awesome. This would be perfect if you're trying to take a control point like I am. Um, looks like you can only use it once per life though, because I'm mashing the 2 key and you can't seem to select it. So, that's kind of cool. I probably should have used that uh, a little more efficiently. What are you going to do? So I'm going to spin across here and set your gun and oh my god. I, so I have a 20, 29 health there. Sort of a bit of a close call, but you never know. Almost on the I was almost dead, but almost on the count of horseshoes and grenades. See, another sentry gun kill. I'm trying to think. Only thing I can think to do at this point is RPG the heck out of that sentry gun because sentry guns are amazing at close range, but they have no long distance range. Um if you're actually setting it down, the RPG nearly triples its range. So which is kind of an exploit, but it's then again it's just game mechanics. So gonna get some good shots off here. So I'm kinda of playing cat and mouse right now. And I don't like how bullets can just reposition you, because I was going to run to a good place. And I hope I dodged that. Yeah, see? The problem with this is once you get a control point and you get one team ahead, it's very hard to break their line. Uh, you can try, but a lot of times you need good spies, which are hard to come by. Sounds cliche, but... You don't necessarily walk up on someone on the street and say, hey, are you a good spy? A lot of people will lean towards the soldiers and the standard kind of classes. So it looks like I got a vantage point. The engineer doesn't even see me at this point. And of course I get shot. I just want to shoot you, but you shoot back. Really obnoxious. I think that's the sentry gun. Oh, Uber Medic. A really annoying attack is the uh, Uber Charge. And I am going to kill that sentry gun. It's bad when a machine is your nemesis. I mean, I kind of like the nemesis mechanic, but it kind of just rubs it in your face that you're getting owned, to be quite honest. I don't think I've ever had a purpose for melee weapons. I don't think I've ever said, hey... Uh, if I could have any weapon in the world to use against someone, I'd pick up a beer seconds. bottle. But I didn't design this game, so I can't. It's not really mine to judge. Oh, thank you, sir. I always like to show some medic love by screaming their name over and over again in chat. I'm sure they appreciate it. I'm gonna throw some sticky grenades. Screw this. What I love about these, 
So you can explode eight at a time, which seems nasty, but then again, they're really obnoxious and you can't miss them. Okay, so looks like my team lost that round. So I now get to run around all surrendered, and the enemy can kill me, but I can't kill them. It's, it's fantastic. So, looks like we're on a new map. I'm going to choose a new class. I'm going to go back to my old ways. When I first got this game, uh, what got me to even download the game was the spy butterfly knife trends uh, animation, whatever you want to call it. It's funny how like one clip from a trailer can resonate with you and make you say, hey, I want that game. I didn't even know what the butterfly knife was for. I didn't know you could cloak. I didn't know you could backstab. But I just saw that butterfly knife and I said, hey, I want to uh, know how to use it so that I can kill people with it. That's, that, doesn't, that doesn't seem too un irrational. Same thing with me in StarCraft 2. I saw in the trailer itself, I saw the Viking that it could land from being a ship to just being a plain old uh, ground unit. That's what made me want to play Terran. On an unrelated side note, in case you guys were wondering, in case we post some StarCraft 2 stuff. So I'm going to cloak here, see if I can't backstab someone. I don't even have disguise on. That is, that's pretty idiotic. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna be disguised as a soldier. Seems pretty reasonable. The description. I hate to call it a description because it's really not that. But what they're tailored for is taking out high-profile targets, almost like a sniper, almost exactly like a sniper. Is you want to take out the highest value. So I, to give a little advice here, don't go after the heavy if there's a pack of them. Go after a sniper that's been annoying you all game. So we cloak here. And engineers are also a great target. If you can uh, avoid them. So I'm going to stay up here. Hopefully they don't find me. Or they look behind their own lines. This looks like the sniper hasn't seen me yet. And uh, I've been discovered by this guy. So I'm gonna stab him and kill him. Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna watch my friends here. Looks to me like red is the team I'm on this time. Because it auto shuffles in between games. Cool mechanic I kinda like. Makes it so that you're don't have to search for a new lobby like in a lot of first person shooters. Which is really annoying in my opinion. I've seen friends play Call of Duty and they've had to wait just for a lobby to get set up. Which I don't think is right. I think you should be able to just pick it up and play. I hit play online, selected control point, and and I was off. After a short loading screen I was on the team. People have come and gone into the match. Which I don't I think it's cool. Uh, I'd love to say keep the same team all the time, but it's auto shuffled, so it doesn't really matter. And looks like we failed at defending. That is fantastic. So, I hate to say it's me, because it's not. I'm a pro at this game. But both teams I've been on have lost. I think it's a best of five, I want to say. So, it looks like this will be a short episode. Not sure if that's good or bad. If you want to see more of me, then it's great. And what could be better? But if you love seeing me, then it's kind of a disappointment. Admittedly, this is the first in a series, so I didn't necessarily want to bore you guys with a long, drawn-out episode. Not saying I planned to suck, but it's kind of how it worked out, and I'm not too upset about it. So... Once again, it's kind of obnoxious, like it goes map by map, uh, if there's setup time or not. I mean, I like it that you can position it, but it kind of gives engineers a chance to get set up, which admittedly they need. It kind of gives them a chance to set up too far ahead, so that it kind of blocks the team uh, before they have a chance to, you know, per se, 
get a chance to start. So I'm gonna cloak here. I'm gonna backstab this heavy. I'm gonna run for cover. Wow, if you could hear me, I was mashing that mouse button, but it just, it just wouldn't stab him. So I'm gonna. I'm just messing with you guys. So I'm gonna get a scout now. Just for the heck of it. I know I'm on defense and the scout is an offensive unit for capturing control points, but I mean you gotta you gotta give a uh, old dog some new tricks every now and again. I'm gonna run across one of the enemies and run right into it. But Fight heavy with heavy. Looks like you get to watch them action for a little bit. So that control point's pretty well defended. A medic heavy combo is really nasty. If they get uber-charged, you can send seven people after it. And by the time it wars off, all seven people are dead if the heavy is even a decent shot. Because they just have so much health anyways. And just giving them more of a chance to be basically invincible. It's really hard to stop unless you can somehow backstab them or something crazy like that. Well, let's go at this again. Now we're only down to one control point, so it's kind of uh, nail against the grind at this point. You kind of got to buckle down, show what really matters, just defending this control point. And admittedly, a map like this is not very forgiving for this last control point, because you respawn close to it, and these choke points offer perfect opportunities to get sniped. So. One thing about a heavy though is they can't move very fast. So if someone were to walk up right now with a flamethrower, I'd be screwed. But I can snipe them right here without much trouble. And explosives are kind of a heavy worst nightmare. Because you can't really just. You can crouch. You can't really just die. No oh, I got a kill. Okay. I'm excited about that, guys. I probably shouldn't be excited that I got one kill, but... Uh, crap. Oh, my nemesis just got me. Not sure if he is a new or old nemesis. I guess there wouldn't be real difference. I don't think I'd say an old nemesis. I don't think I'd make him a reunion take or anything of that nature. But, you know, sometimes know your enemies uh, better than your friends. Run that, kids, and you'll go far. And also, never uh, mess with explosives. Even your friends. Because friendly explosives can kill you, too. It's not just... A terrorist. It could be a best friend messing with some gasoline. Life lessons with you. Right? I hate RPGs so much. I guess it's gotten to the point where I haven't really found a class that I'm super good at yet. So hopefully, as the series draws on, I will. And you guys. Or I'll be able to see me grow as appreciated as I am. But, in all seriousness, that's what it's going to come down to. I can't even be a support unit. Wow. This is ridiculous. Alert. Our last control point is being captured. And we lost again. So, that's the third game. I think I'm going to call it that. I think Team Fortress 2 kind of just says, go until you want. Um, whatever team I'm on is obviously inferior to some degree. 
to this team that I'm always facing. So, on that note, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, be sure to leave some stuff in the comments. I'll definitely read every one. If you guys want to leave suggestions saying learn how to be a medic better, any tips, um, please try and keep it constructive. Don't just say you suck. Try and say uh, you suck. Maybe try not to run openly into a field where there's seven guys. That'd be constructive. At least I'd uh, be able to adjust my play, not just, oh, I kind of suck. I wonder what I'm going to do about that. So this is Jeblock signing off. Have a good night.